Hello everyone, Carrington here from Open Heart Games. We are back with our playthrough of the Tyranny of Dragons, which is one of the first modules that was put out for Dungeons Dragons 5th Edition. We have our uh, our part, our band of adventurers here who are about to fight a garbage monster, but first, while we still have people <laughs> popping into the voice chat here, um, we actually do have an event announcement that's coming up very soon this weekend, in fact. It is this Sunday from 1 o'clock Eastern Time to 2 o'clock Eastern Time, we are going to be joined by veteran game master and game designer, Matt Summers, who is the designer of the RPG Desolation. Um, we're going to be talking, that one is entitled, GM One-on-One, -on -One, Journey to the End of the World, and we're going to be talking about his adventure and his journey in crafting his own RPG game called Desolation, and we'll be peppering that in with a discussion uh, about... Um, running post-apocalyptic games. Should be a really cool thing. I used to uh, run games alongside Matt. He's a very creative game master, um, and I am very happy to have that discussion once again. That is going to be live here on our Twitch stream, uh, and that is going to be on Sunday, May 15th at 1 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, so, yes, post-apocalyptic desolation. There it is. <laughs> Uh, and I will I will uh, shamelessly plug and put a a link in the, in the chat. So um, we obviously we took a hiatus last week um, because I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, we went to the premiere of uh, Doctor Strange. Uh, <laughs> no no spoilers. While well, we're waiting, I think maybe waiting on one more. We may not. We'll see. We'll see where the night takes us. Um, but spoiler, my spoiler for your review, um, I enjoyed it. Uh, if you have small children, do your homework <laughs> before you take them. Because uh, there were definitely some, some elements of the movie that I felt were rather surprising. But uh, I don't know that there have been, it's kind of had some mixed reviews. Um, but I enjoyed it. Um, I thought the story was good characters were neat i thought the things that were happening mattered um but that's that's kind of that's kind of my thoughts if anyone has any other thoughts feel free to jump in obviously let's try and keep it no spoilers but it is sam raimi right so mm -hmm. there are jump scares let's there, put it that way there are definitely jump scares and i will i will describe the i was not uh i was not expecting horror elements but it definitely had some horror elements, and there were a couple of instances where I was actually, uh, like, the jump scares definitely got me. I was like, all right, you win. Uh, good job, Sam Raimi. Um, when we concluded the movie, there were uh, uh, two um, there were two folks, uh, two groups that had brought their kids to the movie. And one of them asked, like, oh, how did yours do? Oh, he did pretty well. Oh, what about your kid? Oh, he's terrified. Um, so, <laughs> you know. Maybe just a word of caution in there, but it was, I, I enjoyed it. It was a fun, it was a fun go. So, um, I guess that's, that's, so that's where we are. So we're back. Um, and we actually do for those, uh, yes, yeah, scarred for life. Uh, we do have a, uh, a returning character that we've not seen in a little bit of time. Uh, so I guess we can start there and we'll go from, from Pip to, to Zed and have everyone reintroduce their character, uh, and then we'll go ahead and do a quick recap, and we'll go ahead and jump right in. So, Pip, if you'd like to go ahead and, and, and reintroduce yourself, feel free. If you can hear us. And if you unmute yourself. Stupid yeah. mute button! <laughs> <laughs> this is the, ba the, bane, the bane of all of us. Right. Uh, I, uh, I play Pip Cottontail. My name is Jonathan Miles, and I play Pip Cottontail. Pip is a artisifer. Yeah, I practice. Um, <laughs> and uh, he has a metal arm. Isn't that cool? Very cool. All right, and also we have... Uh, we're, we're just going to go down, and then we'll go back up and loop. Uh, and we also have... Uh, also, also small in stature, we have Zed. Oh, you're doing it that way. I thought we were going to go on to Patron. Nope. Anyways. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Uh, 
DJ here in chat and on Twitch, and I play Zed, uh, who is a lovable kobold, uh, the mascot of the campaign, if you will, uh, who wants to grow up and be a dragon one day, uh, so much so that he has studied how to be a way and an ascendant dragon monk. Very good, very good. Um, and uh, and back up at the top, uh, Mordok. No, oh, I thought you were going to save the tallest for last. Oh, well, uh, I didn't know we are going by height. Was... Well, you know, you started off small, <laughs> and I thought, okay, I'm, since I'm you know, the, the Goliath of the group. <laughs> we, uh, we, started, which... we started at the bottom, now we're here. Um, yeah, which I, I'm not a Goliath. No. <laughs> I'm uh, Dave playing, playing Mordok, who is our Asimar protector cleric. And I do wish to lodge a complaint. You guys let Nightbot out. Because when I tried to log into Discord, it kept telling me, well, you need to prove that you're human and pick out the <laughs> pictures of a seaplane, which I obviously don't know what a seaplane looks like, okay, because it's, then it's a, they got pictures of a truck. I'm like, okay, that's a truck. That's a bus. So My favorite is <laughs> click on all of the bicycles, and there was yeah. one. there was one time when I had, I was just like, click, and it was just like, nope. And I looked yeah. again, and I there was a bicycle. You could there was one wheel of a bicycle on the back of a car in the back of the picture, and I was like, "Really?" Yeah, that's kind of where I was. It was like pick the seaplane, and I obviously don't know what a seaplane looks like. Then pick the truck. What's a truck? I have no clue. Yeah. So, so you guys let Nightbot out, and he's roaming around in Discord somewhere. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Excellent. All right, and last but certainly not least, we have Patron. Hello, everyone. I am uh, Brad, also known as Hidohari in chat, playing Patron Purpleheart, our uh, protection cleric slash druid. Are you a protection cleric now? Or uh, order. Order, I mean, man, it's been well. <laughs> I was like, man, two protectors. Yes, we have a cleric that heals and a cleric that doesn't. Who's that? Who? I'll I'll leave that for you to decide. Um, anyways, that was a joke, and I thought it was funny. Uh, I, I haven't I haven't been here for a while. What level are you guys? Five. Level five. Level five. Good. Getting getting creative. All right, so. Um, who would like to take a stab to to bring Pip up to speed? Uh, when last we saw Pip, this was several sessions ago. Um, that you had you had concluded your uh, your explanate your your explanation your exploration of the bandit camp, and all of you were uh, one of the characters had just died. And Pip decided to Pip make. Pip was fed up. Pip, Pip was fed up Pip and decided to make his up. exit. Yep. Um, so who wants to take a take a stab? And I'll fill in any of the blanks of what happened between where where they were when we last saw Pip and and uh, and and where we are now. And then also in the meantime, we can have uh, Pip listen in and, and and narrate what uh what Pip was doing in the meantime. Okay, I'll, I'll take a real high-level stab at it since I have to go way far back. Yep. Uh, let's see. Yep, we stole a dragon egg. Yep. We went on a caravan ride. We guarded the dragon egg. We nurtured it. Uh, we killed a bunch of stuff. Uh, there was an episode with... Hmm, we ran into a Goliath. He met the Goliath, but now he's gone. We don't know where he is. He had something to do with mushrooms, and he doesn't like mushrooms anymore. Uh, let's see, we got to Alders Gate, got in a new caravan, uh, traveled with them for a while, killed more things, went to a tavern, uh, had a ballroom brawl, and of course, right before, right when we got to the tavern, at the most inopportune time, we now have a baby dragon. Black dragon. Evil black dragon. Like you're, determined, you're determined to make this evil black dragon into a nice dragon. That seems to be dragon. Zed and Patron's goal, yes. My yeah, role-playing should... inspiration is just yes. my cat. If my cat yes. <laughs> if my cat could spit acid. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't all caps well, spit acid? Some days. Some days, okay. So we finished the ball, the, the, the bar thing. We went down to some tunnels. Now we're getting close to where we are. Uh, we ran into some lizard men. Uh, they don't like the, what are they calling the, uh, the bully dragons. The, the, no, the, oh, the, the dragon yeah, the bully wogs. They don't like the dragon kneelers. So we kind of recruited the help of a uh, one particular lizard man named snap I don't know if he's with us or not. I can't remember. I think he is. Uh, we buffed our way into the castle by just kind of donning our old, uh, uh uniforms Alt for the stuff. cult that we've stolen. Uh, Got in a little bit of trouble in the castle, walked, talked our way out of that, kind of, and we're told to go hang out in this nasty tower that we're in. Uh, this so, tower uh, is related We're inside to... the castle. There's apparently at least three factions going on here. We got the lizard men who we're trying to impress to help us, who they hate the bullywogs, who are like the frog, boys. Frog things, yeah. They're frog. Frog guys, uh, and then the dragon kneelers who are the cultists. So there's like three factions going on, and we've sided with the lizard men because that's what we're supposed to do, uh, and they're <laughs> less repulsive. And Carrington, you have to show him the picture. Oh, a Farvalex? Yes. <laughs> oh, I, I, I sure do. Give me just a moment. I will. We're gonna we're gonna jump right into our uh, into our into our thing here, um, and I will I will share this. Give me. Yeah, just... and I'll ice. Okay, let's see. Yeah, give me just a moment as uh, uh, as I've got to uh, and do some technical all, stuff. Only thing we missed out of that was the end. Like we're in the castle, we made our way. We started to make our way into a tower where a trash monster has leapt up oh, out yeah, of its like, filth and. That's right. I totally forgot about onto, that. Yep. Latched onto Mordok. Yeah. I forgot about that because it was so terrifying. Yes, I, I, I should too point I too out that I, on roll twenty, I got nothing but a black screen. A Don't black you box. worry, you'll get something in just a moment. Uh, so there, so uh, Brad was able to play the part excellently of uh, Dralmorer Born Gray, who's kind of one of the leaders, and he looks like this. He's kind of one of the leaders of um, of this uh, of this castle. Uh, player tokens. Player tokens. Yeah, he looks like he needs a sandwich. He needs ten minutes in a sandwich. Yeah, um, that's right. <laughs> Don't we all? Right? Yeah, yeah, we're all we're all we're not here for uh we're not here for a long that, time. That poor guy needs a sandwich. Yep. Um. You're very Peter Cushing. Yeah, very Peter Cushing there. Yeah, that's right. All right, there's a giant Pip. We'll, we'll figure out where Pip is, but Pip should be able to see. Well. He's, he's a half elf. He's a half elf that is normal. That they're normal. He's not. A, he's a half elf, not a full elf, right? Um, that is. It great. doesn't matter at all. He is. They're all fact, the same. He is they, in they, fact. They, they, he is a full elf. Yeah. Well, he, that makes it even worse. He hates all humans, and only elves should be alive. You know, normal, stuck-up, nasty elf. <laughs> yeah. So. so all right. Cool. All right. We, we we have opinions. All right. Um. Oh, we have a. Uh... We have another party member with us uh, named Jamna, who is this sneaky rogue gnome. We're not. Sh we're pretty sure she's bad, but she hasn't really done enough to like make us kick her out of the group. So she hangs out occasionally, throws an ice knife, often just runs around. Usually misses. Usually misses, as per the Carrington School of NPCs are all classically trained. Um, <laughs> To, to miss. Um, so oh, and our dragon's name is Valdis. Yeah, I feel like that's not entirely fair. It's not inaccurate. <laughs> but it's, it's not. <laughs> I'm going to take the low-hanging fruit and then <laughs> throw it. Yeah. We ran, before this, we ran Curse of Strahd and I made Irina, I even gave her levels in Paladin to like, and I kept her, I think the party was like two or three levels above where she was. So for example, like when they were level 8, she was level 5. And so, like, she still, like, has some survivability and she's able to... In theory, she's able to contribute to the combat, 
but she, she never did. She broke so many swords. Like, it was bad. <laughs> I think I revivified her twice in one combat. Uh, that sounds accurate. Yeah. She was... Bro- broke pretty... crossbows, broke swords, lost She was pretty weapons, terrible. Had to be revivified. Multiple times. In one combat. Oh. Is this one's name? Remember, I so... And I chose to save her instead of one of our party members and let him die. <laughs> True. You know, uh, yeah, we 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 named our new one Parker instead of uh, Itzy. So, oh, very good. Um, so that's there. This and then this should be here and. Um, I can move Parker, but I can't move. You should be able to now. Yeah. No. All right. Yeah, I no. forgot Pip's first name is Ricochet. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. Um, and we're gonna, gonna come. Pip. We're gonna come back to that in just a moment. So also here. So there's that. So you should be able to see that too. And I will put this as everyone can see the name. So there's that. There's a little. There's a little guy right there. Okay. So now that we've now that we've brought everyone up speed on all the NPCs and all the stuff that's going on. Um. Perfect. There's an entryway right here. <laughs> That Pip could yeah, magically that sounds probably come in from. Good. <laughs> well, I was trying to think: is there a place where I could be on a sniper nest or something? And kind probably of on on the next of... level, if you want. Yeah, let's do that then. Let's just put me there, and you guys, yeah. We'll we'll find you eventually. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We don't we don't know you're here. So what so what Pip has been doing all this time yes, is uh, tracking down uh, dragon cultists. <laughs> Um, uh, murdering them uh, when he can find them and trying to you know I, I picture him sitting someplace with uh, with a lot of string and little pictures and like drawing webs you know of who's where and who's involved and all of this sort of stuff mm-hmm. and uh, and I think he's probably come here tracking bullywugs um, and uh is has found a, a spot where he thinks he can maybe take out some high level cultist or something like that. That's why he's here. Yep. So so at fifth level you get the uh, M sixty skill, right? <laughs> no, not quite that one. But... No. Okay. Damn. Just just has a mini gun. Yeah, <laughs> it just has, has one. You know. <laughs> just All found right. it in the swamp. Yep. I just <laughs> me and old Betsy here. Yeah, that's right. Yep, is the, uh, is the safety on old Betsy? Yep. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. All right, let's go ahead and roll initiative. You want me uh, to roll initiative? Or oh, yeah, go ahead. Or... Okay. You can put me in there whenever you want to. And I'll roll, I'll roll, I'll go ahead and roll initiative for my 17 NPCs, so... Wait, 17 NPCs? Because I thought the guard drakes were on our side now. Well, I mean, I have. So, right now, uh, NPCs, things I have to worry about at the at this, at the the current juncture, I have to worry about uh, Jamna, Snapjaw, and Valdus. So that's three NPCs in addition to my monster. Oh, excellent. Nobody ever said DMing was easy. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Here, juggle these knives. Yeah, all, all of these. All right, so Valdus is going to uh, is going to step over here and and kind of like growl at the uh, at the Odiug, but that's about it right now. Yeah, I have a question about the Odiug's motivation here. So he's living in a swamp, and they're and this is like a retreat. So this is like perfect place for him to stay so why is he aggressive because that's um, the way the module wrote it okay let me let me see real quick let me see if i can i can let me let me see if i can get into character for the uh for the <laughs> Odia. Odia. All right, ready hang on hang on they're, they're like they're like you abominations from the outer planes right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. They just, and uh, they just be crazy yeah yeah 
I mean, my my motivation was going to be, all right, here I am, this this crazy tentacle monster, hungry. All right, that's that. There you go. One. But he he's, he's lived there for a long time, and he just yeah. Look know, at this guy. Look at this. He's one out. hungry boy. Yeah. Yep. Just want to boop him, don't you? Yeah, just right on right yeah. on the nose. Yep. <laughs> would would not advise booping. Look at those teeth, man. Like he get you. All right, so Valus has done his part. Uh, Jamna, yeah, Jamna will throw, uh, probably throw not an ice knife in there. Uh, Jamna gives you, gives, because uh, the only person who's kind of stuck in there right now is Mordok, gives you the thumbs up and goes, you got this one, Chief, and shoots, <laughs> shoots it with a ray of frost. I think a 14 hits it. It sure does. All right, cool. For four damage, minus four. Cool. And then Jamna is going to back up over here so that the Odia can't hit her. All right. She says, I've done. She says, you got this one, Chief. And then she uh, she backs up courageously. Now, the Odia has, has, uh, has some cool abilities, uh, including uh, it has... Multi attack. All right, so we're gonna start with a uh, uh, a tentacle. Oh, we can. Don't all monsters have multi multi attack. Oh, it just feels like they should. for the action economy. I mean, you get to take like seventeen turns yeah. into its one. That's true. Yeah. Um. So it so it is going to uh, reach out with a tentacle. At least, at least it doesn't have blood frenzy. <laughs> It feels like in Frost Maiden, everything has Blood Frenzy. Uh, there's a yes. 19 hit. Uh, yes. All right, please take... And multi attack. Yeah, please take uh, 14 damage. Ow. Yep. And also, good news just for you, you are also restrained. So, Yay. Yep, I will mark you as having been grabbed. All right. And it's going to use a um, uh, another tentacle on Snapjaw. Most assuredly, it'll hit. Oh yeah, uh, and that's going to be for thirteen. Ouch! And then it's going to bite you. Let me make sure. Restrain. I think I think I have advantage against you. Yep, I have advantage, and your attack rolls have disadvantage. Here comes a bite. Does a 21 hit? Of course. All right, cool. You are unconscious right now. Yay. Hey, this was fun. I'll see you next week. <laughs> um, also, I need you to make a con save. Can I do that when I'm unconscious? Yeah, because you've been, you okay. got poisoned. All right, you are also poisoned. Cause why not? Awesome. <laughs> this has been a rough day for you. Cause why not? All right, I'm so I'm, I'm, let me get this right. I'm restrained, unconscious, and poisoned. And also in a latrine. How it can't get any better than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just know that when something happens, you monkey pod into, into existence. Oh, also, <laughs> let's see here. Um, well, where's that minigun? This guy is also grabbed. And that's Snapjaw. And can I move him? I, I guess it'll, it'll, we'll just say it moves him closer. We'll move him closer in one space. Um, and also, let's see here. I'm poison. Every 24 hours, you must make a saving throw. Okay. Zed. Oh boy. Oh. I guess I gotta come up, come fight. Um. Step right up. Jones. 
14 hits. Uh, 14 does hit. Nine fire. Okay. Okay. Ouch. So, punch again. Well, 14 hit. 24 certainly hits. Four fire. Okay. So 13 total damage. Uh huh. And then. We're spending a key point. Yep. You disengage or run away. Nice. I always imagine Odiugs as just like abyssal Oscar the Grouches. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Alright, Snapjaw. Snapjaw literally can't move. But you know what he does have? He's got some he's got some javelins. He's gonna throw a javelin. He hits for seven damage. Get there. Alright. Pip. So I'm up on the second level here. Um mm -hmm. and Let's have My you just nice real quick, like, I'm going to assume that you would have been hidden. Let's have you roll stealth. Okay. We can do that. Oh, for goodness oh. sakes. Is that a nat one? Yep. Awesome. I feel like I've been up here a while, though, so I should get advantage at least. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, that would be a... That'd be a four right there. I mean, do you want to make a dramatic entrance? Uh... Yeah. Okay. Um, so... I was thinking we'll just throw our Eldritch Cannon, which is a little bit bigger now that I'm 5th level. Oh, yeah? And, um, uh, just throw it, like, big spider lands right on the Otiug's face, right? Right there? Land, but lands on him. Uh, that's not on it, but, yeah. And, um, and, uh, and, uh, I think that little bugger will, um, will, will um, do some fire damage. Okay. So we'll do that first. I don't know if I can find my gum. Sorry, guys. D and D Beyond. Um, Eldritch Cannon. There we go. And, uh, we'll, yeah, so, um, so we're going to fire the Eldritch Cannon, so we're gonna fire just to make a deck Eldritch save. Cannon. Okay, one, one deck save coming up. That'll probably be a failure. Oh. Uh, and so he takes three, oh, sorry, uh, it's 2d8 fire damage. Okay. So you want me to roll it or you want to? Um, you can go ahead and roll it. Alright, roll 2d8. Bam. Eight damage. Oh! And then, that was bonus action. Okay. And, th and then there's a really loud noise. So the reason that he fails his stealth save, or stealth roll, is because uh, I've got the, the the hand cannon out. I've you know the the uh, the big big gun, and uh, I'm using walloping ammunition. So first of all, we're gonna we're gonna aim. And I'm going to take minus five 
to add plus 10 to the damage. Okay. Because Weeza, Weeza got uh, a sharpshooter now. So. Oh, good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to... We're gonna take minus five and uh, so plus damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, so fourteen. I think you said that hits, right? Yeah, fourteen will hit. Okay, so plus ten to damage. Should be able to just click on it, right? Yeah, I should be able to. So there's the damage. Just twelve. Uh, so fifteen plus ten is twenty-five points of damage. Ow. The big hit. And 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 you guys look up and you see Pip up there. He's like, oh, great. These... <laughs> <laughs> then he again. says, I mean... And then he waves. <laughs> yeah, not not Zed, because he's uh, around the corner. So all yeah. he heard was a big old loud noise, and now he's terrified. Oh, and by the way, the Odia needs to make a, a strength save. Or... <laughs> Or get knocked back. Oh. Definitely. The not. wallop part of wallop part of the ammunition. So back here? With the spider yeah. on it? Yeah. Uh go okay. back ten I think it's ten feet, I think. <laughs> here. <laughs> Zed has no idea what's going on because he just heard like a big old thud up against the wall right by him. <laughs> right after hearing that big bang. <clears throat> Yep. Bang. Oh boy. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, it's a. Uh, this whole tower just rumbles. And some of the. Uh, I need actually. Well, yeah, this will be so fun. Can it? Can it be knocked prone? It's not knocked back. It's knocked prone. Oh yeah, it can, can be, it knocked, be prone. knocked prone. Okay. Yeah, we can knock it prone. That's exhausted. Knock it on its prone. Its aberration behind. There you go. All right. Anything else from Pip? Oh, that's it. All right, Patron. Okay, so um, I am going to, I guess, use my starry form. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. hold on. Let me see. Um, I think I'm going to go into Archer. Okay. Can you link the ability so we can see it? I can. I just got to find it under Features and Traits. Oh, good. I wish you could, like, minimize things you never used. Are you telling me there's things on your character sheet that you never use? Just kidding. There we go. Ah, uh, yes, a book. Let's see here. All right, so Circle of Stars, bonus action. You can expend a use of your wild shape feature to take on a starry form, be it a beast. Um, and then there's also an archer that you can do. Uh, become luminous, you, you shine light. And you said you're doing archer? Okay. So you can hurl a luminous arrow that targets a creature and deals radiant damage? Uh, correct. Wait, this is a bonus action? I thought I was using my wild shape. As it a says, as action. a bonus action, you can expend a use of your wild shape. Oh. Well, had I known that, I've done this more often. Uh, but that Are you then going to also throw something at it? Well, I was going to use another bonus action, but I can't use two bonus actions, can I? You can't use two bonus actions, unfortunately. Uh, then I would not use this, and I would do something else this turn. Sorry. Go I ahead. thought yeah, this no was worries. a... I'm going to put out this as my bonus action. What will it be? A healing spirit. Did it link it, or did it just roll it? No, it just rolled it. You get to put that in a location, right? Uh, yes. Alright. You're for uh, the games that I, that I play. 
You should be able to say um, cast a VTT, I think is the, is the option here. That's what I did, and that's what it did. It's display in VTT, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're going to have to make an icon for it. Oh, I've got one here. Uh, it's going to be a swarm of seven uh, golden translucent canaries. They're going to fly around in a little circle? Yep. Okay. So Mordok's going to like come to consciousness seeing birds swinging around his head? Yep, like yep, literally. literally. <laughs> cartoon. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Oh, uh, I'll be Wily Coyote. Oh, seeing a bunch of canaries? Oh, man. Yes. I just got the visual, and it's glorious. Oh, that's great. Isn't it, though? Do they also tweet? Uh, sure. Oh, my gosh, I found one. This is great. <laughs> this is a crow, okay? That's just a guy in a raven suit. We're going to use this guy. Uh, what are we calling this thing? Healing Spirit? Correct. Alright, um... Yep. And then, uh... In how, addition how, what's, to what's, that, the, what's the, uh, the radius of it? Uh... Five foot. Well, it's it is five you. feet, and it is... Its range is 30 feet? Range is 60 feet. You can cast it, and it takes up a five okay. foot. Okay. Yep. How's that? So he has to cast it like directly on me. Well, no, because it can anywhere in the 60 oh, foot. Oh, up to 30 feet. Yeah, up to yeah, 30 yeah. feet. 30 feet. Yep. No, this so is you can move it up to 30 feet. Oh. What is the range of it? The range that you can cast it is 60. But it doesn't actually create it. a a a, a no. healing. Okay. Five foot. No, the tangible spirit appears in a space that is a five foot cube. Yeah. And then people can just touch it and gain. You know, it's it's sort of like the hokey pokey. You put your left hand in. You well, you don't have to touch in. it. Oh, you don't. It you doesn't move. require an action. You either have and to move go. into its range or, or start your turn. So you need to cast it directly on me. Okay. It to work. I swear I linked this, and I either my thing just keeps skipping over it. I'm just gonna go back to my character. I mean, it's, it's on there, yeah. I can see it right now. Uh, can't cast at third level. You call forth the nature spirit. Appears in a space. Whenever you or a creature moves into the space, or starts its turn there, mm -hmm. you get to heal. Okay, so I cast it directly on him then. Okay. Yep. So I'm gonna just put it on top of him. And I, I named it Healing Spirit. Pretty bird. Oh, yeah, and it All needs right. to have a little, a little nameplate. All right, and I'm just going to copy this and put it on your on our player tokens thing. Uh, I would like to point out that you have infinitely more tokens than everyone else. Uh, isn't oh. that how druids always are? <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know, you're not wrong. Right, Druids cool. and wizards? I do love I got me. one more thing, though, since that's a bonus action. I do love me some wizards. Go ahead. Uh, this guy's already been hit once, right? That is accurate. <laughs> yes. The bell tolls for thee, or the canaries chirp one way or the other. We should, uh... So now I'm, I'm getting, like, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina vibe with, like, the psychopomps. Like, that would be super creepy if, like, you know, birds just start appearing and chittering at you. <laughs> All right. Um, so he has to make a, a wisdom save. Good thing we're good at those. Bam, got it. He says, I don't even know what these are. <laughs> All right. Anything else from Patron? Uh, that'll be all, and I'll be right back. All right, Mordok, it is your turn, and you get healed for a D six. Yep. Yep. Switch turn there. 
you get five hit okay. points. I believe Goody. it was cast at a higher level. No, yeah. Oh, okay. Well then. So two d six. Okay, we'll do that again then. You're at eleven. Eleven. Awesome. And it says it can heal a number of times equal to one plus your spellcasting ability modifier. Um, I don't know what passions is. Which is a minimum of twice. Yep. I'm just gonna put a number in here that I think is correct. I think we're at, it's used its first ability. I think it's gonna be three out of five, or four out of five, if I'm not wrong. We'll just save it for now. All right, uh, and Mordok, okay. it's your turn. All right, so I'm not unconscious anymore. Yep, you are still. But out. I am. I'm still restrained and I'm still poisoned. Yep. Well, things are looking up. Everything's coming up in the house. That's oh, right. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that meme. Everything's coming up in the house. So make a wisdom saving throw again. Man, we're just we're just we're just tolling it up, huh? Yeah. Time to pay the toll. Ringy dingy. Sixteen. Oh, you you just <laughs> yeah. You got no pluses to this, right? I do have a plus one. A plus one. Ooh. Got you him. Hit it twice. I just, I did. Got him. That's terrible. DC Never do that. Trash could be so wise. Yeah, you know. I'm renaming this Odiog, um, Diogenes, um, Valdus, which is this dragon down here. Um, fork, fork, fork. Uh, so Valdus is pretty smart and watch what happened to both Snapjaw and Mordok, and it's gonna pop over here, and it's bad though. This the baby dragon? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was confused because his name didn't end in an X. So and it's pronounceable, so I, I ah! was, It's I was a baby. Confused. It it hasn't added more uh names to uh, itself. Syllables, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh we're gonna try some acid breath. Um on this Odiog. And we need to make a deck save, which we don't have a plus two. Uh, that one we will also pass, so we're taking half of 5d6. How many cuts? Uh, or 5d8. So, taking 8 damage. Alright, Valdus is done. Alright. Jam is like, Hey! Are you doing alright in there, champ? Uh, you know, I'm going to help you out. And uh, we're going to cast another Ray of Frost. Good thing she's got Ice Knife. Uh, and she's going to miss. She's like, all right, hey, just, uh. She she looks at uh, at Mordok who's all covered in in Lord knows what, uh, because you got you know slapped down in the sludge. You're gross, and she's just like, you just you just you just keep up fighting the good fight. Um, the Odiug is going to uh, is going to stand up from prone, first up, uh, get real angry what? and what. Do I get an opportunity attack for that? Mm mm. Not in this edition. Only if it leaves your through. It only if it leaves your square. All right, here we go. Um, we're gonna use a tentacle and we're gonna try and smash that uh that that thing that's in front of us. That thing that's on our face. Uh, I take it an eleven doesn't hit, does it? Mm mm. So who's no longer restrained, me or... No, it has three tentacles. Oh, it has three. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, it has two tentacles, each of which can grapple a target. Okay. I'm going to say it lets Snapjaw go. Snapjaw's over there. 
Um, I guess we try to use this other this other tentacle on. Um, we're gonna use a tentacle on um, on Mordok. Slam. So nine damage. And then we're gonna try and bite this spider that's on us. 13 doesn't hit, does it? Mm -mm. Alright, well, it's done its part. Uh, and then you're still restrained. Um, Zed. Yeah, this um... picture of the Odiug is a little confusing. Because, and maybe I'm just crazy here, but it looks like it has three tentacles. Just by the, just by the picture. Tell me I'm wrong. Maybe I blew one of them off. <laughs> maybe. See? That was like three tentacles to me. I'm pretty uh, sure it has a, a tail. I think it's tail. Oh, one of them's an, one of them's eyeballs. I see it. Yeah. Now. Yeah. One of them's one of them's its eyeballs that are detached. That's weird. I don't like it. All right, put it back. Uh, Zed, you're up. <laughs> put it back. <laughs> it was a lot cooler Zed. when it was all tentacles. We're just gonna sneak around the corner here and be alarmed that there's the Odia right there. Um. Oh, hey, Mordok, you're, you're, you're up. Kinda. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and keep punching. With, with advantage this time. I'll hit. Eat fire. That hits. Oh, God bless a crit. There it is. <clears throat> For 11 fire. Okay. We're going to spend a key point to flurry. Punch, We're not going to run punch, away punch, this punch. time. We like this advantage. Welcome to uh, Zed's House of Advantage. I'll go with another crit. Yeah, I mean, sure. I'll, I'll, take, <laughs> I'll, I'll, take, I'll take the crit special. Okay. Okay. How about another crit? You're kidding for another, me! For another 11. Damn me, Christmas. All right. Oh, Zed. If if nothing else, it should be demoralized and run away after I, I, that. You, you hear way up on the top. You hear Pip go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Uh, Snapjaw. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, hey, Pip. Oh, hey, Pip. <laughs> Still up. <laughs> yeah, I can. I see. I see Zed just doing this, like like flurry of blows. Like there's just like a hand like moving as he's punching punch 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 and then he's just like hey as he's waving like that's yeah. <laughs> yep <laughs> go to sleep go to sleep go to sleep go to sleep yeah, exactly <laughs> all right anything else from zed uh do you want anything else from zed no that's it. <laughs> i think zed did a lot uh, uh snapjaw is going to um uh is going to yeah, he'll run in with his uh, with his um, with his with his heavy club and try and attack. He just did forty four damage. <laughs> I know. He's gonna do some damage, um, and he'll also is attack he with a spike shield. Is it still prone? It's no longer no. prone. Oh, okay. Which is good for you. Uh, it's Pip's turn. Yep. It'll be prone again. <laughs> um. So, well, first off, we will uh, we will let uh, the uh, we'll let Parker, our new spider. Um, it was Itsy before this. I feel like yeah. this one should have been called Bitsy. Yeah, but but you know it's it's bigger and uh, and and it's got a, a nice nicer shiny coat. Okay. So we call it Parker. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yep. And, first, first name uh, Peter. First name Peter. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, uh, who's that it now? So, oh, you get it now. Okay, great. It um, took me a minute, but I got there. <laughs> um, so you're gonna, uh, we're gonna, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, so it, it needs to make a uh, dexterity saving throw again. I think it's dexterity, right? I think it so. Two hit? It doesn't say anything about a two hit. It just says yeah, dexterity saving throw. 
Okay, that's all it is, yeah. All right. Bam. What is that dexterity saving throw? Is it, it should 10? Be, it's, it's your, yeah, it, it, I rolled a 10. It's your roll. Or sorry, yeah. it's, your, it's your saving throw. What is your saving throw? Oh, it is, uh, yeah, it's my spell attack modifier, isn't it? Uh, uh pretty much? Right? Oh, yeah, yeah you have to roll you have to roll to hit and then it saves for half. See that's the part I'm looking for. I don't see I don't think there is a save. It says it, it, it says it's got this it's this ability right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just link this part. It's this part right here. Oh it's the flamethrower, okay. Yeah, it's a uh, can exhales fire adjacent. Um and a fifteen foot cone that you designate. Uh each creature in the area must make a dexterity saving throw or or take half. Right. So I guess roll that two D eight. All right, two two d eight coming up. Woo! All right, and Parker sets the uh, the Odiug on fire, um, <laughs> and it it's it's all on fire. Some of the garbage is on here. Now this area is literally just a giant dumpster fire. It's literally a dumpster fire. Yep. So there we go. Okay. And now uh, Pip is going to fire his rifle. Oh, oh, the Odiac's dead. Oh, the Odiac's dead. Okay. Stop, stop! He's already dead. How many? How many hit points? How many hit points did it have after he's dead? Uh, five. So close. Yeah. Uh, Snapjaw technically would have killed it, but I, I always like, I don't like when NPCs kill monsters. So, I'll, I like to try and give NPC. That's my approach. Because otherwise, after, the, tr after the triple crit, I was waiting for these. So how do you finish them? Oh yeah, yeah. Like I cannot forget five, believe for, this. Forget, 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 forget that I was off by five points. Like, <laughs> I mean, it was I'm really good. Going, I don't think I've ever crit. seen a triple crit before. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's yeah. I mean, he went he went down he went down real fast. How the algorithms? gonna give you like a one and a two <laughs> the next couple of rolls i get i get one stream every like 20 <laughs> weeks there you go <laughs> where zed gets to pop off and then like the next four sessions zed's gonna struggle i'm i'm sure it'll be fine maybe <laughs> i gotta find ah uh, here we go Yes, the little booties are here. Oh my gosh, they look like testicles. <laughs> oh no! All right, here's this one. Uh, nope. Maybe this one's better. Nope, they're, li they're little. That booties. one's better. Yeah, that one's way better. Yeah, the other ones look like little. They're little booties. They're not little. They're not little ballies. They're little <laughs> booties. We use these in a different campaign. I've got the whole party calling them little booties. And so Jesus. and so, I stopped using them. <laughs> He's a flame skull though. He's kind of cool. All right. Any, <laughs> anyways, all right. So there's there's that. Um. So this area is as, as I mentioned nope, before nope. is now a literal dumpster fire, and here we are. No, no flame skulls, please. Oh, we want some flame um, skulls. You got no. it. <laughs> no, they're nasty. <laughs> they're so much fun. What about, no, don't like them. what about a red dragon? Those are cool. <laughs> sure. All right. Now you're just showing off. Anyways. You're dancing red dragon. All right, so there. Give me another ten levels, and then then we'll talk. <laughs> yeah. What is uh? What is uh? What is what is Pip doing? Uh, so he's he's up up on top, and I, I he, he says, uh, "Come on up, I guess." Pip. And he watches that just take up right up the stairs. Excellent. I'm gonna stand right here and get healed. <laughs> Uh, you can do it five times in total. So how many times have you already done it? Once? Just once. once. Well, and roll two D6s five times, and that's what you get. Uh, you get, what you in, get. Well, oh, no, no. In doing... Hold on, I'm going to be greedy and take one of them. In running up the stairs, I ran through it, not knowing what it did, but it, did, but it healed me. Yeah. Okay, go ahead um, and get, get, that, get that good healing. When you, when you get to the top of the stairs, it says, Zed, you've grown! So that's so that's three uses, right? Uh, four in total for you. It's five in total because it's my spell modifier plus one. So that's five. Yeah, so, you used so one my... already, so you get uh, three more. 
Well, but Zed greedily took one. But that's okay. Yeah, Zed, yeah. Ig but you get three Zed, more. Zed, so Zed I get two more. Took one. Because so I've done two, and Zed's done one. So that's three total out of the five. Yep, yep that's correct. There's two okay, left. So here's number four. Yeah. So that's 22, and number five. So 30. Put you right, right, right below full health, right? Right. Yeah. Pretty good. I'm still poisoned. Yep. I'm still diseased. Oh, fix... Well, we're gonna fix that right now. Oh, do you have an ability to remove disease? Well, yeah. What Cleric, uh. Uh. All right, I'll allow it. Oh, we're just gonna cast both of them. Oh, oh, oops. Did oh, I cast you... twice. Yeah, it's gonna. Take... I linked it, then I cast it. So sorry. No worries. Oh, I'm no longer poisoned. Or disease and or whatever it was. And no longer grappled, that is true. That is also true. Yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. So we just gotta I let the castle it. burn down? How can we use this to our I don't have a decanter of endless water for some reason. I gave that to one oh, of my parties. But, but somebody's got ray of frost. Yep. Alright, so um This is a this is a, a great opportunity. Yep, you got commuter dragon. Yep. So Zed goes running up running up the stairs to uh to, to Pip and Pip says, My goodness says, you've grown. You've grown Um I should have a I should haven't felt like it, but um I can do some cool things. I saw that. Yeah, I can I can, pun amazing. I, I can punch like a dragon. He just starts like pretending to like fight Pip, but he's not really fighting Pip. Uh, like, Valdus, Valdus like runs up the stairs and like begins growling at Pip. Oh, uh, Valdus, Valdus, it, it, it it's okay. It, it's this is Pip. Pip's a Pip's a, a friend. Pip Pip has his hand on his handgun, you know, on his on, yeah on, in his holster. You see that uh, it's a it's a baby dragon. Pip, don't you, don't you think, don't, don't you dare think to shoot. This is our baby dragon. Oh, much and like she's in the beautiful. Room. Why Sorry. would you want a? Why? Oh god, this. I have <laughs> a bad sure. feeling about this. What does Patron want to say? Much like in the real world, when you you're introducing your dog, who's uh, not aggressive but just likes to playfully run up and do things, I hand Pip some. Uh, some rotted jerky and be like, here you go, Pip. Just feed her a little bit of that. It'll be fine. Pip just kind of throws it at her. She catches it. Yeah. And just, like, eats it and just, like, has her eyes on Pip. And on the gun. Just, he, he, he takes his hand off his gun and puts it between his temple, you know, between his eyebrows. <laughs> and it's just like, I have a bad feeling about this. This will not end well. And, uh... It, has, it hasn't gone bad yet. <laughs> and, uh... We haven't broken uh, everything yet. Um... You only destroyed a hotel room. Um... <laughs> a part of the bar. Uh... Set this tower on fire. Set, set this tower on fire. But to be fair, that was your spider, not our dragon. <laughs> um... Right. So, uh, Carrington, tell me what is some information that I know about Resmir's operation here. Um, before we get too off in the weeds on that, can, uh, I'm going to turn to Gemna and say, hey, put that fire out with that frost thing that you do. I don't take make yourself from you. Make yourself useful for once. <laughs> Who do you do so well? Wow. She, she works, looks over. Works. She looks over at Mordok and is just like, "I don't. One, what? I don't take orders from you. Second, uh, I mean, I definitely can help. And C, <laughs> yeah, and C, <laughs> we have smoke detectors. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was a Home Alone reference for those super fans listening at home. Um, do I have anything that can do this? Let's see, I've got that. Yeah, none of these are really helpful. I've got color spray. 
She doesn't even have Ice Knife, man. Yeah, she just has Ray of Frost. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Something. I guess. Make, make like a fire extinguisher. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yep, and my favorite is she actually has... She has three second level spell slots and zero second level spells. Would, um... Question. Yeah. Would... Uh... Would cold breath help in this situation? Uh, it could, yeah. You could just put out all the fires. I don't have... I don't have that many opportunities. I don't have that many slots yet. You doing it? Be right back, Pip. I gotta show you something cool. Um, Literally. Uh, take the dragon with you. Take the dragon with you. Alright, Val Valdez, come here. She goes over by Patron and just like curls yeah. up and lays down. That works. That works. Patron gives um, head scritches. So we're gonna. You might want to get your spider out of the way. Um, and one, he, one he kind of snaps. He kind of snaps his fingers, and Parker climbs up the side of the wall. So he'll stand here, and then in a little a little muster of rage, he does his best dragon impression. <laughs> And you see uh, coal come out of his mouth in the the, the twenty foot cone, and it puts out all the fires. Look what I can do! Look what I can do! Excellent. He's now done. He, for those at home, he has now done fire, cold, and acid. Yep. Mm. Very nice. The the mate all the major food food groups. The only ones that are left are lightning and poison. And we will work those in to the campaign. No thunder? I can do lightning. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I'll just share with them any information that I have learned about uh, since I've come from the other direction and uh, have been tracking these bullywugs and things like that. What information can I give them that they? I mean, this would be an occasion for you to. Sure. Let's go Southern ahead. plot exposition. Let's go ahead and cut over to. Um, let's go ahead and cut over to uh, to to Draumurer Born Gray, who is checking in with uh, with Resmir. Um, uh, Resmir. So let's go ahead and, and review our cast of characters. Resmir is going to play in the played. Uh, in this scene uh, by our own uh, Patron Purpleheart. Or, sorry, Resmir's going to be played by Pip. Dralmore Board Gray is going to be played by Patron. And uh, Asbara Joes is going to be played by myself. So I will summon those pictures real quick. So first we have Resmir. Who looks like this. You give me all of them, I'll be able to tile them for the party. Excellent. We also have Drowlmummer Born Gray. Worst name ever. Yep. And Asbara Jos. Also known as Captain Cowl, because look at that cowl. Wow. That's like a. That's, that's like, like a the Todd Red Wizard McFarlane dude. Cloak. That's like a Todd McFarlane cloak right there. Yep. Okay. That's the Red Wizard we met on the caravan. He is the Red Wizard you met on the caravan. Where's our Bullywog friend? Oh, don't worry. We'll see him in a minute. So I will play uh, as the part of, of Asbara I Jos. I have a feeling about that. Yep. Um, and Jarlmore Born Grey is checking in with... Uh, it's been summoned by Resmir, Resmir to her office. Uh, where she is currently meeting with, with Asbara Jos. And they are discussing some things. So Dralmore Born Grey uh, enters the uh, enters the room as Resmir are looking over a bunch of maps uh, with Esmeralda. So, and so, and so what I said to her was, "You can't have my eggs, but I will give you some bacon." <laughs> uh, so as 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 Bara says, I believe that I believe that the that that the uh, that the plans are proceeding 
on schedule. However, I am concerned that there is a risk of discovery. There's always a risk of discovery. Mm, discovery by whom? There were some undesirable individuals that we met. Curious folk. I'm not exactly sure who they uh, who who sent them, but they seemed rather heroic, which is troublesome enough. But also they felt a little bit too curious and inquisitive. I believe that our forces shook them off in the mare of dead men. However, one cannot be too certain. Yes, the bullywugs are useful, but they are not competent. I would not say that Farbalex is what I, I would not count him amongst the very wise. Uh, I still do not understand why we use those things. <laughs> Perhaps out of... I believe it is out of necessity, but Resmir could speak to that more than I could. She, uh, you see a little acid kind of drip down her, her snout a little bit. She says, Born Grey, are you questioning my wisdom? Never, Resmir, but those filthy monsters have no mind of their own. Out of they sheer... have their uses. Out of sheer curiosity, um, just in order to make sure that we have we're covering all of our bases. Have there been any odd reports or odd sightings in the mare from any of the scouts? Or even odd occurrences near the keep? Mm, just a few new recruits who walk too close to the guard drakes. New recruits? What do they look like? Uh, there was uh, a kobold with a another god drake, um, a short, stout, kind of dwarven fellow, and uh, there's regular other cultists. Hmm. Something is familiar. I feel the same. We should be on our guard and to be and be very vigilant. I do not want to tip them off that we know that they are here, if indeed they are, but I would like to keep an eye on them. Perhaps we can make preparations, Resmir, to relocate. I agree. That sounds like a good idea. Born Grey? OC to them. Keep your eye on them. How yes, Resmir. But, I, I must say, there we are a castle. We are a castle filled with, with, all of, with all of these forces. Lizard folk, we have them under our thumb. Bullywug, under the control of Farbalex Splattergoo. Uh, and also the might of the Cult of the Dragon along with the support, of course, of the Red Wizards of Thay. I do not think that these are going to pose as much of a threat. I think we need only be cautious. And with that, there is a massive explosion uh, in the background. And as Barra goes... I would like to rescind my previous comment. Perhaps we should make our way to the lower level. Resmir, I smell adventurous. She says, perhaps you are right. Our purposes are far too important to have to dally with wolves, kobolds. As Bara says, she I will begin uh, the ritual so that I may open the gateway uh, and we may make our exit. Uh, and with that, uh, this guy, you can you can close as Barra Joe's, and that's when this guy comes running in. 
Look at that hat. The goo. Yep. Let's go. Yeah. Best hat ever. So he comes running in and he says, Ah, of course, Resmir, Resmir, I have come, I have told Drownum of Horngrey, I have told him that I have seen the portents! And you see that he has some kind of, like, viscera in his hand that flies are just swarming around. Ugh. Ugh. He's also tracking mud in, just like, oh, right over your nice carpet. He's walking in, zero concern, didn't wipe his feet, slime, gross stuff, and he slams the the, 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 the viscera, like, on the table. And it's just like, it's just like, the portents, they have spoken to me, and I have seen that we are having visitors. Ah, uh, they've already come, they are here, and... There was a great clattering calamity, and I believe that they, that the gods, have spoken to me. Resmir just spits a big blob of acid right on the middle of his portents, burning them and killing all the flies. Sizzles. It sizzles and, like, burns into the table. Yeah. Yeah. He gets down on his knees and says, A SIGN! <laughs> Do you have anything else for him? Uh, Farblex, take your considerable forces and deal with this problem. Ah, yes. I will deal with the problem. I have been waiting to deal with the problem since we had joined your forces in the castle. Oh, I will. Get on with it. Understood. And with that, he, like, bows and, and, be, and begins ribbiting and, and hopping out of yeah, the uh, thing. Resbeer's kind of got her claws, and she's like, go on, go on. <laughs> Oh, I dislike that man. Utter filth. <laughs> I look to you to make sure that he doesn't do anything stupid. I will try, but I do not believe he can accomplish anything other than stupid. All right. He and says, with... Good. Oh, okay. I just... He says, we have an alliance with the Bullywugs, as long as they're necessary. And, then she and when says, they're not? Do with them as you will. Make them in debate. And then she uh, heads out the door with what's left of the map. <laughs> All right. And scene. And scene. All right. The group, the gang, the gang's all here. They're leaving. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, the uh, we're back to the party now. Uh, yep. Pip is able to share a couple of pieces of information. Uh, one of the big pieces of information that he's able to share uh, with the uh, with the with the group. Uh, is, and, uh, oh, I wanted to go ahead and shout out, uh, Arpulus, thank you for the sub, we appreciate it. And if you like the things that we do here on Open Heart Games, feel free to throw us a sub, or give us a like on Facebook, on Instagram, or you can follow us here on Twitch, or on our YouTube channel. Um, so, uh, now that we have, now that we have had that scene, Pip is able to give them the information, kind of some of the comings and goings, that there's definitely some, uh, that there's, there's some, some, uh, unease between the cultists, uh, between the cultists and the uh, and, and the and the bullywugs, and from the uh, from the lizard folk as well. It sounds like we can use a little bit of that. Yeah, bad guys are always fighting amongst themselves, and that's useful and helpful. Um. Do we know that Resmir's here? 
I think it's important that you do. Yes. She's somewhere in this tower, in this castle. So we should try to find her. So I could put a bullet through that naughty skull of hers. All right. And, uh... I'm also going to, uh, you, you notice that, um, there's, there's actually a, um, something rather surprising happens as you're, as you're, as you're going. You see a red wizard of Thay, uh, accompanied by, um, By none other than Resmir. <gasps> yep. Uh, leaving this, leaving this tower. Uh, you can zoom out a little bit. You'll actually see them. Maybe you'll see them. Maybe not. All right, cool. So they are. They they appear to be leaving this tower. And I'm just gonna put someone out here so you can see where they are. Where and where they're going. There you go. Uh, and you see them go, uh, they go out of this door and this way and into this door, closing it behind them. Double time in it, down the stairs. Hmm. I missed how they went through over here where we were. Yep. <clears throat> what do you want to do? I mean, I'd rather not just face them head on. I'd rather, you know, find some place to hide. And... You get the idea that they are in a bit of a hurry. Yeah. So they went into the tower that we explored. Mm-hmm. And all that was up there, refreshed by memory, was some was a minor library. You said, right? In the upper level. Some, in the you have to refresh by memory. I don't remember the middle level at all. Um. <laughs> great question. Second floor. The yeah. second floor was barracks. The one we walked into and we walk in and out of, right? Yes. That is correct. Was there a lower level? Not that you saw. Maybe they know of a secret entrance. A secret may, uh, may have. Well, we should, we should maybe follow we should them. make haste. Pip, I know it is against your normal, and Patron will pull out of his duffel sack another cultist robe. Mm -hmm. But we're hunting a rare breed. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Puts on the robe. Pa Patron will uh, point to the ears a little bit. Oh. All right. He pushes them back like... Pulls, pulls them kind of down and around and under the hood. Is that okay? Ah, it looks good to me, lad. All right. Let's go. All right, so we're walking through the door. Yeah, we're walking on sunshine. Who's the tank? Found to feel good. Uh, tank is now tripping on mushrooms.
Uh, Snapjaw's having a rough day right now. Oh, Snapjaw didn't get any healing? Sure didn't. Oh, well, here. I was going to say, yeah. I was going to do a pat on the back. He'll take 12. Yeah, that's great. Oh. How many is he missing? More than I, that? Actually, that, no, because I didn't want to cast that at second level. Why did that happen? I don't know. Here we go. Let's try that again. Okay. Now he's missing seven. Okay. Who is Snapjaw? Is this a, a lizard? Mm-hmm. Lizard folk. Hey, look at that. Now he's only missing two. Yeah, he'll be fine with that. Perfect. All right. So are we are we gonna are we gonna open this door? With haste. All right. Somebody better open it. The door is open. Moving this person over here. Uh, Jam's gonna hang out over here in the shadows. Snapjaw's gonna come up here. All right. Hey, look! There's a familiar-looking face. Pretend. What was that? Uh, who's that? Uh, that okay, would, who is that? That would be Drowmer Born Gray. Oh. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you open the door, uh, you see Drowmer is here with his, uh, um, with all of these cultists and whatnot. I'll put him on this side of the room because reasons. Put him here as he just kind of like sees all of you getting ready to enter the room. Uh, this is pretty sus. This is two susses. What does Dralimer say or do? You there, Holt! Yeah, no. What, does anyone want to say anything to him? Yeah. I mean, I feel like Patrick knows the jig is up, so I know what Patrick would do, but it wouldn't be words. Yeah, I'm with Patrick. An itchy trigger finger. Let's just kill him. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's do it. Initiative. All right, let me let me get rid of this real quick. Uh... Did you have something you were going to say? No. All right, cool. Battle music time. Bam. And initiative time. I am going to do something a little different. This is something I do when I have a lot of NPCs because there's quite a few cultists. Is I will actually, uh, I will, I will make a copy of a cultist. And this is a trick that any any game master who's running a bunch of stuff on World Twenty will can do. Uh, I will, I will copy the cultist, and I will just like, I will paste a copy, uh, like. Somewhere where I know that they're not supposed to be. Like, I'm going to drop this one out in the swamp. Uh, I'll drop it north here so you can see it. But I'm just going to use that one as my initiative for all of these. And the reason I'm putting it out here is so that I don't accidentally delete it if one dies. Um, so then I can just roll initiative for one. Especially if there's a, just a bunch of minions. Like, in this room, there's like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, like 14 of those particular guys. They don't have a lot of hit points. So I don't expect them to live very long. But I, I want to just have them all act on one initiative. And unfortunately, like, I rolled low. But there's so many of them that it doesn't matter. Now, for these dragon claws down here, those guys, I'm going to roll for those individually. Because there's only four of them. Alright, and then, of course, Dralimer is going to uh, roll his own initiative. Ordok got awesome initiative. All 
right. Bam, bam, and ascending. Oh, cool, the dragon claws are gonna go first. Uh. Yeah, you know? You know, why not? All right, so the, the dragon claws are gonna go first and I think they just have So, who's this dude? That's the one he was talking about that he oh, put okay. out there. Oh, okay. Alright, all my dragon claws have gone. And Drummer is going to go now. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these guys. Which they will definitely attack now. gone and I'm gonna have to do this unfortunately it'll be all right um so this so Dralmer, uh as as he uh, as as you can see that there's there's definitely like they they pull out pistols and all those kinds of things combat's definitely happening what does he say before um, we start getting into some into some uh, into some attacks Fun villain monologue. Yeah, yeah, get some get some monologue in there. Uh, you all have ruined this for me. This will be the last time you do. All right. He's not wrong. <laughs> It'll be the last time we ruin anything for him. Yeah. True. There you go. All right. So he's going to go ahead and um, he's going to cast a spell. He's going to cast magic magic weapon on himself. So he's got a plus two to hit. Look at you. Look at you, guy. All right, and he can move up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And he'll be here. And it's Mordok's turn. This is going to be fun. Okay. So I am going to cast every cleric's favorite spell. Is this Spear Guardians? Oh, you betcha. How did I know? 15 feet, right? Uh... Yes, 15 foot radius. Okay. And then I'm going to use my move action to come back here. Right there to cover the door. Sounds good. Anything else from Mordok? Nope. And Zed, your turn. Oh boy. Um. I don't really want to run in a room by myself. Um, yeah, don't. I'm gonna come over by Mordok, and if someone comes in inside, and when it comes to us, I'm gonna kick them. All right, some bullywugs move. Uh, the bullywugs are they inside as well? They're somewhere. Oh no. This one, all right. 
this guy will be here. Uh, and now we have a Drake. Uh, this Drake is going to, uh, well, I guess for this turn, they're not going to enter combat because they don't know combat's happening yet. Drake Patron. Okay. Patron will move this far for now. And uh, I'm going to need some of that sweet, sweet spike growth action. That's just so rude. Here we go, and I'm just gonna drop it here. Put it where you want it. I think that is good. You can go ahead and drop it on the bottom layer. There it is on the map. Alrighty, so I am now going to use Okay. Wait, no, hold on. I don't think I am. Barrington, I'm not in the initiative anywhere, I don't think. Oh, did you select your token? That's what I didn't do, did I? It was an 11. Yep. Uh, uh, don't feel too bad because I totally forgot to roll for my uh, my black dragon wormling and also uh, Jamna and also Snapjaw. So don't feel too bad. I have you. I have you uh, built by a guilt, beat by a guilt factor of three. All right. Cool. Okay. Uh, did did you did, uh, can you select uh, your token and go ahead and roll again? And go oh, ahead just go and ahead and roll again. Yeah, yeah, and I'll change nope. to an eleven. Nope. Okay. All right, just roll. All right. Uh, yeah, make sure your token's selected. Did. It was actually better. Yeah, it was the eleven was better <coughs> than that. So. There we go. Cool. Uh, what was that? Sorry. Patron. Uh, so I can't use a sorcery point or anything this turn. So what I'm actually going to do is use my starry form. And in turn. as a bonus action, mm -hmm. and turn into archery form. All right, and you are oh, there's Patron. All right, cool. And yep, real quick, and then I'm gonna move right here. I'm I'm going to mark your starry form with this. There we go. Anything else from Patron? Uh, that'll be all. All right, Dragon Claw, Dragon Claw. I've already moved them. Uh, and then this cultist, these cultists, cultistesses, feel like they're about to have a bad day. They sure, probably an understatement. Uh, yeah, we'll start with we'll start with this guy. Yeah, they're about to have a rough day. All right, uh, this cultist is gonna step out here. Um, roll that, roll that. Wow, he's gonna take two d four plus three d eight. Give me that three d eight. There's a chance he survives. Eight. Is it 3d8? Yeah. It's pretty dirty. Takes one more step, I punch him in the mouth. <laughs> what are you going to make? He, make, he gets a wisdom saving throw. Oh, he does get a wisdom saving throw, yeah. He could survive this. That's possible. Right now, he could survive if he rolls a wisdom. No. All right. He just dies. So he takes... Yeah. He just took... 14 damage and just dies so he takes a step through the spike growth he's all torn up and then uh he one of the spirits just just obliterates him just obliterates him what are your spirits where are they from are they they're they're uh they're some yeah, of the, they're like 
Good. There's some of the people that by family and whatever that oh, who cares? They're I, I prefer them to be armed with <laughs> size and you know, no, I'd rather have size. That's just you know. Um. All right, and then now is when uh, the cultists, I guess, are. Yeah, sorry, I I broke some of this. Very wrote these twice. Anyways, um, I'm gonna have Pip go ahead and go since since I I broke the initiative a second ago. The so Pip is gonna move to here. Mm-hmm. He's, he's going to throw a little metal disc that has Thunder Wave on it. Everybody needs to make a... Um, it was a 15-foot cone, right? So... No, no, no. It's a... Um, what is it? The 15-foot cone? It may be a 15-foot cone. Is it from a 15 you? 15-foot or... cube. It's a 15-foot cube from me. 15-foot. Okay. So I think it ends up being like this. So I think you're only going to get one guy. Is that right? At all? Really? And it's a Let's cube uh... from, for emitting from you. So you have to be in the center of it, if I'm not mistaken. I think you might be right. Is it? Is it? Um, is it Thunder Wave? Yeah, it's Thunder Wave. That's the one I was going to use. But... Let's see here. Okay. Um, it, but if, yeah, if it's only going to get one person, I'm not going to do that. No worries. Yeah, I'm going to throw, Par I'm going to throw Parker in there and then I'm going to step back where I was, where I was. Uh, Here. now Parker, I don't think is immune to my spike growth, by the way. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. I mean, he'll only Con take 2d4. Right. How much could that be? Um, eight. It's. <laughs> I mean, I get through, he could actually <laughs> land on the. What if, what if what if I threw him and hit this wall right here? Uh, it actually should encompass the entire room to the ceiling. Oh, to the ceiling? Yeah, there's, yeah. there's spikes everywhere. Literally, oh. it looks like all these people are trapped in a thorn patch. Oh, okay. All right. It, I it's, it a, a it's a sphere. It's brain. a sphere, not a circle. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, in that case... I'm just going to, um, uh, so... Throw them in there and light them up? Well, I probably could do that, yeah. But I don't want to lose them just yet, because I get, you know, I can't make... I can't, I can't th those things are expensive to make. <laughs> um, uh, all right, how about Shatter? Yeah, you can cast a Shatter. 3d8. Thunder damage. Where is it? Where does it drop? Uh, it's a sixty foot. Let's see. Ten foot radius sphere, but I could do it from up to sixty feet away. So you could drop it like. I, yeah. You drop like it over here. Or if I'm not sure if you can see it, but if you can drop it here, I think you can get a bunch of them. Yeah. Let me drop yeah, it. Because like he's ten feet away. Yeah. He's 10 feet away. He's 10 feet away. Yeah, you'd get four people if you did it there. Including yep. Dralmer. Yeah. Dralmer. Yeah, and did the spike growth only work if you move, right? Right. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to center the 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 uh, shatter spell on like emanating out of Parker. Um and he's just not going to move. He's just going to stay right there. Let's throw him in there. So where are you going to put him? Well, let's see. If oh, I right throw there. him like there, or yeah, right there, somewhere, like so I can get drown mur 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 um, sure. Yep. And, uh, yeah, shatter. So uh, I can cast that in DT for you. There it is. All right, so they need to make... DC 14 con saves. Mm -hmm. Maybe. There we go. All right, so con. Yeah, being, con. We're being a little slow tonight. That's fine. 
We're, we're all right here. How are you? There we go. All right. So the first guy uh, succeeds. The second guy succeeds. The third guy succeeds. You are rolling crazy tonight. Okay. All right. Yeah. One, two. One failed. Yep. So this guy dies. Uh, and let me see about Dralmar. You should have No! Yeah. No! <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna take 11 damage. And the rest Eight. of these guys are gonna take rolled down, so it'll be 5. Alright. And then Parker is going to light up Got it. Dex, dex save. All right. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna do that for sure. Um, one deck save coming up. Oh yeah. So half though. Yep. Half two D eight. Yeah. Two D eight. Yeah. Yeah. You can just type slash R space two D eight and it'll roll it up for you. So seven. Well, still, I mean, look at that. Like eight and a six. It's pretty good. All right. So seven. All right. Anything else from from Pip? Nope. That's it. Pip's, then Pip's going to move. Take his movement to go back behind the door here. Okay. All right, and uh, got some some Bullywood characters doing Bullywood things, uh, and then Jamna. Um, uh, Jamna's just gonna try and shoot one one of them with uh with the Ray of Frost. She is about worthless. All right, and now it's Valdus's turn. Valdus is gonna step in here. Valdus is gonna step over over next to Zed. Growl at Mordok, and then just hang out there. All right, and now it's the Guard Drake's turn. Now they've seen some stuff, so they're gonna move uh, in and start doing stuff. All right, so we're gonna move right here. Our first one. Uh, this one is gonna attack Jamna and Pip. Jamna with the uh, with the bite. Nope. And Pip with the tail. All right, cool. It knocks itself prone. Good job. Okay, now then, second guard Drake. This guy is gonna come running over here. And it's just gonna try and attack Snapjaw twice. All right, bite and tail. All right. Oh wow, all of them. All right, cool. Uh, 18 hits, 24 hits, so 18 damage to Snapjaw. Snapjaw's a two. All right, Bullywog did his thing. Patron. Okay. All right, I can see what's his name, right? Yeah, I can see what's his name. Oh, I just rolled another bite for some reason. <laughs> Roll 20 so delayed. That's okay, though. All right. Ignore the third one if a third one comes through. I was having some delay issues. All right. Uh, so I'm attacking the... Hold on, let me ping them. That guy was the first one. Which one? 
this guy. Oh, we're thorn whipping. Yeah, and I'm. Do you get twin, three? I'm twin, thorn? Oh, you're. Oh, you're I'm twin, twin casting. casting it. Yeah, I said ignore the third one. Third one okay. didn't didn't happen. So the first one was against this dude, and the second one was against our boy Drakmar. Drakmar, huh? Drakmar, Dripmar, Dripmar. Drow murmur murmur murmur. Grave murmur. Drow Drow more. Drow more. Born Diggler murmur. All right, so that that twenty one is gonna hit no matter what. As I said, the twenty one is the one that is not like the nineteen is against Drow, and then the uh, nine is against uh, the first cultist. So does the nine hit? Uh, oh, it's a nineteen. Got it. Okay. So does a nine hit? The answer is no. Okay, and now the nineteen does that hit uh, the main it, big it, bad? It in fact does, and I'm gonna shield it. Hmm. Rude. Yep. He's he doesn't want wizard. He doesn't want to get. Uh, he doesn't want to get dragged through the. Uh, um, uh, through the through it the everything. It was going to be fun. Stop it. Get some help. Uh, <laughs> anything else from you? Does a 15 hit a guard drake? Uh, a 15 does hit this guard drake. For 7. It, it takes 7. Alright. And I'm going to move myself back in the corner. Also very rude. I know. Why is everybody hiding in my spirit guardians? Why do you think? <laughs> it's always going to get better. I almost wish you wouldn't have done the spike growth, but that's okay. It'll work. All right. So I mean, we... what are what are the intelligence of the basic level cultists? Like, right, I'm just now, saying. Like, now the would cultists, they not be now rude? the cultists are going to do cult things. This guy right here is going to try and attack the spider. <coughs> Alright, he's going to crit fail, impale himself, and die. Neat. Alright. Next guy. Um, man. Uh, these are these are some these are some rough rough things. Um, yeah, we have way more area of effect stuff than I thought we were going to. Yeah. Spike growth, good. Spirit Guardian is good. good. Yeah, too good. Um, this guy's going to move up here. Roll a 2d4. And Spirit Guardians is 10 minutes. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's super good. Uh, did you roll that 2d4? Sweet 2d4. Is that 100 rounds? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's concentration. I don't want to take damage, but I'm going to fix that with my next go. Um, did you? Oh, you did you roll that two d four? That spike growth. Spike growth action. Oh, I did not. Hold on. Okay. Where's that damage? <laughs> I hate that I have to go far, so far to find it. All right, he die. Um, I, honestly, when you cast spells, you can honestly just drop it again in the in the thing and just click the button. That's what I usually do. But that's me. I just like link it again and then do it. If people get familiarity with the spells and so on and so forth. Anyways, um, uh, this guy's this guy's. He's just gonna run. He's yeah. He's he's not in the area effect. He just leaves. He's like, I don't get paid enough for this. Okay. Um, this, this is not in the brochure, man. It was gonna, not in the brochure. Yeah, this one's also. He's gonna a do free the same intern. Thing. Yeah, he, he's, yeah, he didn't like. <laughs> yep. He's like, this sucks. Um, and then these two are gonna try to escape. Yeah, they're gonna run through the spike growth and just die. All right, cool. 
Good, good job. I'm just gonna delete. No, I'm not gonna delete cultists because reasons. All right, Bullywug's done. Now we're to Dragon Claws. All right, it's Drowlmer's turn. Um, discretion is the better part of valor. Uh, we're gonna, uh, and the we're last gonna, bastion of. We're gonna cast this. Is he casting? Misty step. Oh yeah. He has to be able to see it, does he not? Yes, that you can see. This does... Hang on. Let's see here. Does... Dr. Google. What's uh, the worst part just... of Valor? Someone asked what the worst part of Valor. Does UPS deliver on Sunday? Does yeah. uh, Spike Gross... Does spike growth obscure? Camouflage like normal. They can still see through it. I don't know. Spike yes, growth. but they couldn't see the way direction you were pointing your thing. Which thing? Because we have a wall. You were pointing the opposite direction through a wall. I'm just saying, like, he has to come out here with us, or he has to go into one of the other two directions. He's going to go uh, this way. There's a door here. Oh. Yup. Boo. Yeah. Yeah, closed door, you can't see through closed door. Oh, no, the dragon claws already opened it. Um, but thank you. Uh, so that's that's his bonus action, and I think he can just... I think he can just yeet himself 60 feet from there. Alright, he's, he's done, Mordok. Okay, here's where it gets really fun. I'm going to cast this... Oh, sanctuary on yourself? Yes. Ah, okay. So right now you are, in fact, you are. I'm a walking death machine. <laughs> You're concentrating uh, on and, spirit guardians, and you also have sanctuary. Yes. So you have to make wisdom saves to even think about attacking me. Yep. And then I'm going to move. Right there. Right I'm gonna. The I'm gonna just use. Um, I'm gonna use this little shield thing for a sanctuary. That's what we're gonna use. Okay. Anything else? Well, that was a bonus action to cast. Mm -hmm. yep. so I still have an action, so I can. I can't cast two spells but if, though. If you attack, though, you can't. Uh, you Correct. break sanctuary. Correct. So. Do I, do I have a buff spell? No, I don't want to cast Warding Bond. That would be bad. So I guess I'm just the walking tank. I, as I walk, people take damage. <laughs> they have to think really hard about damaging you. Yes. <laughs> you just walk through a room full of people and watch them all die. Anything, anything else for Mordok? No, All right. I just don't have an action, because I can't... Well, okay, no, that was concentration. I can't do two concentration spells. That's true. So, nope, done. Yep. What song would, would be playing as you walk through the room and everybody dies? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a massive combo later on. All right, Zed. Who's, who's this? Don't worry it's about it. 
Okay. Um. Well, why is it gotta be Guard Drake's? Uh, he runs over, starts punching. Why does it always have to be guard? Why did it have to be guard Drakes? Why did it always have to be guard Drakes? It's the one that's the one that's on the ground. The one that's prone. We're gonna start there, with advantage. The fourteen hit. Uh, it does. Six fire damage. Minus six. Punch, 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 punch. Punch again. Okay. 22 minus 14. Minus 9. Uh, yep. yep. 9 fire. Punch, 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 punch. We're unsure about everything else, so we're going to hold on to those key points and just do one more punch. Or kick. Whatever. One more fling. And we'll crit. For 9. Still up. How many crits have you had tonight? That's four. Four? It's <laughs> pretty four. good. It's pretty good. I mean, with advantage, I mean, you gotta think pack tactics, because they were all those crits. I don't think I naturally rolled them. They were all on the advantage. Excellent. All right. Uh, all right ribbit, ribbit. Snapjaw. Uh... Snapjaw is going to try to uh, try and half of them were. He's going to try to uh, to attack uh, the one that you're attacking. Try and finish it off. It's kind of on its last leg. They both are. Uh, and eleven will not hit with the spike shield. Uh, so instead, he's just going to bite him with a twenty-two. He doesn't kill it, but he does some damage. Minus three. All right. Hip, it's to you. Are okay, you going to so still maintain just... concentration on Spike Earth, by the way? Me? No. Uh, I am concentrating on Spike Earth, yes. Okay, cool. I'm just asking. Uh, go hey. ahead, Hip. So, just correct me if I'm wrong. These guys are attacking us here? Yep. Mm hmm Okay. And you notice that there's these things here. Those things are coming, right? Um, they seem to be. I'm going to change Jamna's color so that she's green, so that you can tell that she's a, a friend. Okay. All right. Air, air quote. Um, <laughs> friend. Yeah. So, um, my most immediate threat is the thing that I'm I'm in comp the the Drake that I'm in combat with, right? Yeah. That's the most immediate thing there. Um Okay. Uh and I'm just gonna shoot it. Okay. You know, I mean a reason to um to go you know, crazy on it. But I'm just I'm, not, I'm just gonna use regular ammunition, okay, uh, and use the pistol. Dad, gum, I can't hit anything tonight. I mean, you did hit that Odeon for like a million. Yeah, that's true. I did. <laughs> so that was pretty good. All right, no worries. So, um, and I'm not gonna move the spider because if I move it, it'll kill it probably. So I'm not gonna do that. Okay. All right. Um, anything else from Pip? Nothing else? Oh, I'm good. All right. Bullywug time. <laughs> What's up? I just have the march. I have the march of the elephants in my head as the as their theme music as they're walking towards us. I have the O E O. Yo. All right. Um, That's a good one too. She uh, she draws her sword and uh, and spins it around and like tries to tries to stab. Uh, she has two attacks. She's attacking. Um, I don't think a twelve does it. No, nope, twelve doesn't do it. Cool. A thirteen also doesn't do it. All right. Cool. Hang on a second. I think she has another thing she can do. Ah, uh, yes. 
We're going to disengage. That's the smart thing to do. Uh, she's going to disengage. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And she's just like... She points at Pip and says, You you got it. This one's all yours. I'll, I'll be over here if you need me. She's the most <laughs> useless NPC of all time. Yeah. And yes, I'm counting Irina. Wow, that's aggressive. Is it because Irina tried? Yep. Yes. <laughs> and we like Irina. Hey, we don't like Jamna. All right, do we want Valus to go do something cool? Well, of course. He's a dragon. You got it. Oh, they're all lined up for him. Oh, hey, yeah. no. Perfect perfect acid spit uh, range. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. All right. Failure. Failure. And failure. Uh, so all three of these bullywugs just melt. <laughs> Good job, I look at I look at Zed and I say, okay, it's starting to grow on me. Uh, so... She turns around as the bully Still wolves. a dragon, though. <laughs> as the as the uh, as the as the bully wolves are screaming and melting into into a puddle, she turns around and just so we're clear, they really are kind of cute. Uh, this is what a, a, a wormling black Ooh. dragon looks like, and she just turns around and gives you this big toothy grin, <laughs> like she knew what she did. She's a good girl. <laughs> she points. Yeah, yeah. She points, and it's just like. It's me. Yeah, I'm a good girl. Oh, now she's got something <laughs> to snack on. Now yep. she can have some frog legs for lunch. Yep. She aimed high, so she's still got the frog legs for later. Um, Alright, so this guard drake is going to stand up from the He's going to make a wisdom... He needs to make a wisdom save. He's going to die. <laughs> Almost assuredly. Wisdom. You got it. One wisdom. What's up? Hey, man. Made it. Okay. All right, I take half. Is it half? Go ahead and roll. Half a three d eight. Is it? Is it save? Or is it? I don't think it's save for half. Let me look. Let me link it. I think it is. Yeah. Go ahead and go ahead and link it. Up. Oh, it's half. Excellent. So eight. Yes. Still dies. All right. Next guy. Wisdom save. You got it. One one wisdom save. Coming up. Failure. I'm going to take 21. Jeez. <laughs> man, oh man. All right, we're going to try to we're going to try and hit um Zed and Snapjaw. Uh Zed's getting the bite. 17. Yep. And Snapjaw's taking the tail. Snapjaw dies. <clears throat> whoa, 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 there's a there's a period in between. Uh, Snapjaw's at zero and dying. All right, bully wug 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 wug. wug. Oh, I'll, I'll take care of Snapjaw. Don't worry about it. When you say take care of Snapjaw, <laughs> it's in a good way. I don't know. The off screen thing that happens at the very beginning of this campaign. <laughs> I'm going to help these cultists. Don't worry. That's I'll right. take care of them. I did. Why is there all of a sudden a cultist head in our inventory? Don't worry I about did. it. Yep. I didn't do that. I had yep. nothing to do with the cultist yep. head. Dumps, dumps out bag of. Yep. Feel, I like how Arpula said the uh, feel the burn with the uh, with the with the, the dragon doing its thing. That's the best fight. That's the best acid, acid breath she's had so far. Um, Patron, it's your turn.
What is Patron doing? Oh, Patron's moving. Yeah, Patron's moving to here. I believe you. Uh, first this guard Drake. I, I, I agree. But what are you doing? Trying to find abilities buried in my stuff. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, starry form archer. Neat. Uh, you definitely hit it. For eight. Yep. Eight radiant. I, I agree with you. That bully wog that's running up. There he is. You throw a stone at him? Let me see. Oh, goody. That Bullywog is taking no damage, correct? Uh, it has not taken any, any damage. Tolling it? Alright, excellent. Let's do it. Here we go. Alright, so we are going to roll for this guy. He is he is he's likely dead. But let's see what happens anyway. Nope. Told you once. Anything else from Patron? Uh there's nobody in this hallway with spike growth, right? That is, that is in fact, accurate. Except for a spider. Uh, I'm a drop spike growth. Okay. Thank you. All right, so consider it dropped. All right, spike growth gone. All right, time to move. Time to move some secret people to some secret and places. And I move myself in the doorway with my last five feet of movement. Totally forgot about this cultist, deleting him. Alright, uh, that guy went. This guy ends up here. And now my cultist is good to go. Well, what's left of them? And a bullywug. Did they take like the long way around? They sure <laughs> did. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Hiya. Yeah. Okay. And now it's Dralmer's turn. Oh wait, no, someone gets to go from here. My mistake. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Yeah, this guy gets to go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 is confused because dragon. It looks so cute and he's a dragon cultist. Why would it be his enemy? We're attacking it. For 4. And for 6 total. Nope, just for 4 because the second attack misses. Alright. This is, when we this is when we cast Spike Growth the other way. <laughs> the, dra the dragon flies, right? Don't you let the DM get wise to my plans. I mean, you can definitely do it if you want. What about Valdus? Can he fly? Valdus? Yeah, she can fly. He can fly, right? Yeah. Uh... Again, again, Spike Growth is a sphere. 
It is true. All right, Dra uh, Dramamur, I think? Dramamur's done. For now. Yep. Got away. Mordok. Nope. <laughs> Taking the long way. <laughs> Making his way downtown. Walking. I mean, I'm assuming at a decent pace. Maybe dashing. What is Mordok going to do? That's on Air Snapjaw. Air quote. Oh, we're oh we're gonna save him. He's not dead. All right, cool. So right, he's, he's just unconscious. Boop. Then I was really what? hoping he had. Does that end? No, of course not. Why would it? Instantaneous. Uh, not concentration. Okay. That concentration is not an attack spell. Okay, I'm fine with it. I, I think that's fine. You're not and doing anything cast, aggressive. Yep. No, and then I'm going to cast this on Snapjaw as my action. And since he's at zero hit points, he gets max, which is one less than what I rolled. So he gets 12. X. Or 13. What is my... What is my spell? Yeah. Yeah, 12. Sanctuary, right? Yeah, he... Hmm? I said it's Sanctuary, right? Yeah. I'm just curious. It's a... Last for a minute. So he gets 12 hit points back, because he, he was at zero. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, you can yeah. keep healing your spell, yourself. Wow. And other people. That's really yes. powerful. I didn't realize how good that was. Super good. Well, All right. My, my combo here? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's good. Yeah. It also works really good to cast on somebody who's concentrating on uh, AOE spell. Yeah. Which I am. <laughs> so I could, you know, just... And I think I will move... See what the hell's going on. Oh, look at all them. Walking death to there. Okay. Alright, anything else for Mordok? Nope. Oh, I'm Zed, done. Zed, you're up. Pack tactics. Punch the Drake. 16 hit. Uh, 16 does hit. Eight, 7 it fire. It dies. Oh. Well then. Knowing that, we're gonna not do that just yet. We saw Valdus get hurt. So we're gonna run over and punch this dude. Okay. Does a 19 hit? It does, in fact, hit. Eight. Seven fire. Nine, seven. Okay. You got it. Anything else? Gonna keep, oh, we're gonna punch him again. Flurry. All right, keep. We're gonna flurry. Twenty-five. Yeah. Five. And twenty-three. So we've got thirteen coming at him, or ten. Uh, plus seven. Unless you already accounted for that draconic strike. I did the, uh, the draconic strike, so total of 17 right. damage coming. Yeah. You kill him. Yeah. Well, you actually knock him out. Correct. Anything else from Zed? No. Maybe a little head scratch on Baldus. Alright. So, like... Zed runs over, punch, 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 knocks this guy out, and gets into like a defensive stance, and Valdus like crouches down, wings flayed open, and starts growling at the rest of the uh, at the at the bullywogs. Pip, you're up. Okay, I look at Patrick and I say, "Is he getting away?" Uh, I don't. No, uh, he's not here. 
crud. Because we could be shooting these bully wugs all morning long and and um so no, we won't this question. We will just keep shooting at them and that's not really gonna help. Um So Yeah, because they'll just keep coming. Should we go down the go on down this hallway? Uh we didn't have any idea of what direction they went in, right? I thought he went down at this this way. Uh they definitely down. went this way. Now where they went from there this way, perhaps? I'm gonna, um, if it's, uh, I need to, uh, get out of roll 20. It's doing weird things now. No worries. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll be right back into roll 20. So. I mean, if you wanted to, you could use your turn to try and, like, discern which way, which direction they went by making, like, either an investigation or a perception check. Hey, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, let's see. Investigation or perception? Yep. Well, investigation is probably better, so let's go. Okay. You see that investigation check? Not yet. It's plus two. Oh, okay. If it's you just a, you yeah. should be able to like click the little green thing next to it and it should send it to the VTT. Yeah, I think my problem is I think that I'm I've got to get back into the VTT because uh, it was doing weird stuff. Gotcha. Uh, it's like went all haywire and it's you know loading back up now. Gotcha. Um, but the investigation check was a ten. I don't know, do I get advantage if I'm using my whole turn? I'll, uh, I'll have you just go ahead and just roll it again in, um, see if you can get it in to the it here. the VTT? Yeah. Okay. No worries, though. All right. Well, as soon as it... Why don't you move on to somebody else and... and sure, uh... we can do that. All right, the Dragon Claw is doing stuff. All right, this Dragon Claw is going to come running up and, and try and hit people. Yeah. Gulp. Wisdom save, please. Oh, that's too bad. Yep. Ouch. Oh, that's even that's bad too. Also too bad. Yeah. Again, um, gulp. And two scimitar attacks. Sixteen. Yep. For five. And. And no. All right. Cool. Jamna. Uh. She'll move. I don't think she even needs to. She that was the first investigation check. So it's coming through. So here's the second one. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna Rage Frost. Because that works so well. She hits him and she kills him. <laughs> she just kind of leans lazily against the uh, wall and just like, looks over at Pip. All in a day's work. Okay, uh, this thing is crazy. It, it rolled, it's rolled, uh, four, three times in a row now. That's bizarre. It, it really wants you to have that roll. You can see yeah, that there are uh, there are tracks leading in this direction. Uh, Jamna's done. Valdis. Roll or die. Do you need like that? Nope. All right. So, hmm. I think she's gonna just back up a little bit. Mm, she'll, actually, she's going to stand right here, so she's next to Zed, but actually, you know what? She'll she'll just chill she'll, she'll where she's at, and she'll, uh, if, if anything gets close to her, she's going to bite it. All right, uh, this guy hops over here, and so she's going to bite him. Nope, not acid breath, just a bite. Did he make his wisdom save? 
Uh, I mean, probably not. Uh, but go. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah, pro probably not. Oh, snap. Oh. oh so you only take six. All right, he's alive. And she missed with her attack. He's he's just as surprised as you are. Uh, and he's just like, oh. Uh, I guess I'll attack someone. Um, so he's, he's, they've got, because everything has multi-attack. Um, so he tries to bite, uh, he tries to bite Zed. Of and course. that's so stupid. <laughs> uh, and tries to attack Valdus with the, uh, with the spear. No. All right. And that's it for, for Mr. Bullywog patron. All right, I will. Has anyone hit that bully wog? Nope. Oh yeah, he has been hit. Yes. Actually. Yes. The spirit guardians punch him in the face. Yeah, they do that. He was unhappy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good thing I'm good at wisdom saves. No. All right, so 18 damage. So a little canary flies over, sits on his shoulder, tweets into his ear, and he his head just explodes. And he dies. Anything else from Patron? Yep. What you got? Oh, you're going to shoot this guy over here? Okay. 12. You just, I mean, you put an arrow straight through his face and he just, he falls to the ground. And he just turns into, he just dissolves into stars. So I imagine Which you, way did... Go ahead. Which way did did we say they were going? That that Dwemer is going. Uh, are you looking for Dwemer or there's two sets of tracks? There's a draconic set of tracks that seems to go this way, and there's uh every everything else seems to go this way. Well, we want the draconic set of tracks, I think, because that's got to yep. be Resmir, so that we need to go that way. Okay. Uh, would you have told us all this information? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Come on, everybody, through the door. Let's go. I'm going to hold my action until the last person is through to uh, run the same direction they're all going to be going. Okay. Sounds good. Dragon Claw time. Uh, here we go. We run up. Uh, we make our wisdom save. Nope. That, don't ignore that. We actually have a plus two. Roll that 20, so we'll take six. Minus six. And we're going to attack um, Valdus and. So, Valdus? I'm, I'm sorry, Carrington. How do you get six out of eight? To be four. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. I I, I read it differently. All right, so... The plus two. Okay, all right, there we go. Um, a 13 doesn't hit Zed, does it? Nope. All right, and then Valdus. Nope, also a miss. Right, this guy is going to run up here. Please. Alright, and wisdom save. 13 damage, jeez. All right, and is going to um, attack. Uh, we have pack tactics too. All right, we're gonna attack. Um, we're gonna attack Valdis first. For eighteen is gonna hit. 
Uh, we'll throw a little bit of a fanatical advantage on there too. So that'll add 18 damage total to Valvus, which is ouch, putting, putting her to four. And the second attack is going to go against um, against Zed, also at advantage, but it can't. I can't use that fanatical advantage again. Does a 21 hit? Yep. For four. Yep. All right. Cultist time. Five. 25. Alright. Wisdom wisdom save time. I fail. Alright, so he runs up to uh, to Zed to try and finish him off with a with a with a seminar. With seminar. Oh my gosh, with a seminar. Yeah. <laughs> with a seminar. And <laughs> Several seminars I've been to uh, <laughs> definitely could fit it. Yeah, I I, I'm quite familiar. <laughs> yes. yeah. So you, so he runs up with a scimitar and lecture notes, and runs yeah, up to uh, to to him and one of the one of the uh, the the uh, the spirit of Korash jumps out in front and and grabs the cultist by the face and smashes him down to the ground, killing him instantly. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I think he can just make his attack. He doesn't get any kind of crazy stuff. He just gets an attack. 22. For just enough to put Ted unconscious. Ted's unconscious? Yep. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And these guys just can't can't quite get in there. Drowlmer is going to step over here. Going to see the Spirit Guardian shenanigans. I have to do something if I want to cast a, a spell at you, right? Wisdom save. Is yes, if you, wish to attack, if you wish to attack me, you have to make a wisdom save. Uh, you create a ward a creature until the spell ends. Or, yep, target a creature. All right, cool. All right, so I'm going to uh, attempt to do that, and I get to roll wisdom, which I'm not great at. All right, so you either lose your attack or attack someone else. Yeah, and you had to have chosen what spell you were going to try and cast uh, against It's going to be Magic Missile, so I'm just going to send Magic Missile elsewhere. Yeah, so that's the... Uh, so we're going to cast Magic Missile. We're going to send... Uh, we're going to send the Magic Missile at... Uh, send the Magic Missile at Valdus. I'm sorry, What? That's weird. Never seen you do that before. All right, so three damage to Valdus. Uh, that's how that's uh, how that'll work. Uh, oh, it rolled it rolled it all at once. Yeah, super weird. Five damage to Snapjaw. And uh, I mean, how far is it? 120 feet, like a million million miles away. Uh, and uh, you know what? Jamna, you're getting hit too for five. Ouch. Alright, uh, Mordok, it's to you. So, Zed is down? Is Zed that is down, yep. And Valdus is at one. Okay. So, I'm going to cast Spare the Dying on Zed. Mm hmm. That's my cantrip, which is also. A bonus action for you bonus action for me, and I can do it at range, and then since he's at zero, I will cast a Cure Light Wounds on him, and he gets 12. So you'll be, Three. so you're moving up here? Is that right? Oh yeah. Okay. So Zed, <coughs> Zed is now at 12. Yes. Excellent. And that's all I can do. Alright, and now it is Zed's turn. We are disengaging and yeeting ourselves out of there. All right, we got this. Uh, 
but I heard the bad guy we're not. chasing. The bad guy we're chasing is in front of us. Well, One we of the were two. At, yeah, we were tra cha really chasing Resmir, but yeah. Mm. Uh, all right. Uh, start with the little. Start with the little one that he thinks he could take. You Hungry, absolutely hit. Yeah, for four. It's this guy here, right? Yeah. All right. The cult. The cultist. Okay. He's he hurts. And again. Yep. Twenty-three. Yep. Actually, no, there's no one around. If nine does not hit. No, it does not. Do you want to spend a key point and keep going? Uh, I'm just going to hit it once. Okay. Uh, ten won't hit. It does not, unfortunately. Alright, I trust you. Alright, Pip, it's to you. Okay, Pip, seeing that, oh, there's, like, a big fight going on, or here comes back from the, from there, gets to here, and let me see, what's my range? I'm pretty sure it's infinite. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long, long way with a rifle. Yeah, that's true, and I think I'm going to probably would hit, like, this guy, yeah, I'm going to aim at this guy here. Which one? This oh. one? Yeah. Because okay, that's the one that's immediately threatening Zed, so mm -hmm. I'll uh, I'll start there, and um, and I'll fire the rifle. What's the rifle? Is it not rolling? There it is. There it is. Another ten. Come on. Another ten. <laughs> Something's not right here. Um, can I try rolling in the yeah, roll twenty? Yeah, Yeah, try it one more time. So is it's it a, a D slash. D so hit slash R space one D twenty plus four, or sorry plus six, and it'll roll it. Cause that's a plus lot of tens. Six. That's a lot of tens. Sure. Yeah, that'll that? <laughs> that'll do it. All right, yeah. Go ahead and you can just click the rifle hunting, and it'll it'll do the damage. Okay. The the pink number. There you go. All right, so so fifteen, but it's a crit. I I'm not even gonna lie to you. Uh, he just explodes. Uh, and 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 dies instantly from the from the crack shot that you have. Um. I'm gonna I'm even gonna do this for you. So so you you hit him. Uh, and as he's as he's got a scimitar out and he's about to attack Zed again, you hit him in such a way that he he just is spun to the side and he slashes uh, the uh, the the throat of this cultist as well and dies instantly. You really want to get rid of these guys off the map. <laughs> There's a lot of people on this fight and we got like 30 minutes left. <laughs> yeah. Nope. I, I'm I'm good. Uh, that that's all he'll do. I heard it was Christmas, says Frodo. Hey Frodo, thanks yeah, for shop, thanks for stopping by. Uh, and Pip's done, right? Oh yeah. All right, and Jamna, she's helpful. We like her. Um, Jamna, you know what? Jamna's gonna Jamna's gonna do something selfless. She's like, please don't make me regret this. Uh, and she's gonna run up. Uh, here. And she's going to say, uh, sorry, Valdus, don't be too mad at me. And I think we're going to do this. Yeah, it's all creatures. Sorry, Valdus. And she's going to cast uh, this at second level. Please? There it is. All right, cool. Um, she's pointing it so that it does not hit Zed. But it is going to unfortunately have to hit Valdus just because of positioning and all that. Uh, and show the spell description. Descending order. So Valdus is going to be blinded and is going to immediately hate uh, Jamna more. Um, this guy will then be next, who will also be blinded. And, and Jamna's snack size. Jamna is oh, wait, snack our whole party's snack size. 
Jamna is snack size. Uh, let's see, we have, that's 13, and we rolled 25. Calculator. Just so I can keep track of everything. All right, so we've got, uh, so we've used, we used one plus 12 plus nine. All right, so these three folk will be uh, blinded in that, in that, in that way. Yep, so that's what she do on her turn. Valdus is the mad, very the mad, and immediately tries to uh, bite Jamna at disadvantage. And will miss, fortunately for Jamna. Uh, and and hisses at her. at her. Yep, and hisses at her. Patron, your turn. Um, okay, so the other... Uh... Actually, no, the big bad. That's the big bad. No, Zed. Saw your tweet. Had to come see for myself. We're back, baby. <laughs> no, I'm the big bad, says Jenna Jeffuffles. What is the patron doing? Uh, Patron cast a guiding bolt at the big bad. Uh, yeah, you'll hit. Well, will you hit? I think I get a choice in the matter. No, I don't. All right, cool. So for 12, minus 12, and then we're going to put this target on there because he has been targeted and has been hit it, hit by the thing. He's Don't worry, it'll go away. <laughs> All right, and dragon claw time. Uh, hey, 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 whoa. Oh, you got more. Hey, 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 whoa. Okay. All right, anyways. I'm walking here. <laughs> yeah, I'm walking here. Hey, and if it was Zed, it'd be, hey, I'm critting here. Oh, uh, it's a 15 from the archer. Uh, 15 on this guy? Yeah, on the dragon guy up front. Uh, yeah, 15 hits. Give me that, give me that damage. Give me that damage. I've clicked it, but it seems I'll click to be... it. I'll help. I'll probably roll it seven times. Tin foil hat theory. As D and D Beyond gets acquired by Watsy, it stops working with roll twenty. <laughs> Shh. Let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> Please no. Uh, Only because D and D Beyond will have its own. I'm reloading. All right. What is the what is the damage it normally does? Two d eight, seventy eight. What is the quick? What is the correct way to respond? Necromancers of the North. <laughs> Necroman Necromancers of the North. That's what I refer to. The Wizards of the Coast. There we go. Yeah. All right. Eight damage. It did not guy. work. Ouch. Clicking it in. Uh, roll yeah, 20, I tried to click it work. too, and it didn't let me. That was bizarre. All right. So true. there we are. Uh, so anything else, anything else from Patron? That be all. All right, cool. It's this Dragon Claw's turn. Uh, he is gonna try to attack um everyone. First, we're gonna try and attack Zed. First, he's gonna make a Wisdom save. First, he's just gonna and die. Bye. Nope, ignore that Wisdom save. It's this one. Uh, yep. and he nope. takes thirteen. And he just dies. Perfect. Perfect. As, Perfect. as the spirit of some other cranky person kills him. <laughs> All right. Uh, this guy, wisdom save time. He's going to find himself with no friends very quickly. Yeah, he's just so... Yes! All right, he's still he, alive. He, he takes eight. Oh, my gosh. That's so many. He's leaving. He's just, he's going home. <laughs> he had one hit point left, and he doesn't get paid enough for this. Uh, this was not in the brochure. All right, this guy I can't see uh, also needs to make a wisdom save. Also just dies. Jeez. <laughs> He's cultists. All right, yeah, roll that damage, though. Roll Hold on. Yeah, 3d8. Um, okay, what I just is... Need a button. I just need a button to push. Oh, that's terrible. 
Alright, so so five damage. Alright, he's still alive. He's gonna uh he's he's also just gonna be like, I'm out. Um Drowmur. Art murmur. Um I think we just have to make a I think we just have to make bad choices. I think that's what is hang on, I'm gonna ask. Patron. So while Drowlmumer doesn't want to necessarily die, he does have a lot at stake here. What do you think? Uh, I think Drowlmumer would... You think he's just going to hightail it? So, so he's got no more allies with him, right? Nope. Oh, he didn't get those scars from being stupid. Or did he get those scars from being stupid? I mean, I think I think he didn't get dead because of because of that. Yeah, none of us are humans. Yeah, I think he would uh, he would probably try and retreat. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're not gonna run in here. Uh, we're actually gonna be we're gonna be smart. So the first thing we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna we're gonna also just a little bit lead the party by the nose because this is fun. Um. I think we can get there. I think we're gonna take an attack of opportunity, but that's probably fine. Hmm. I don't think I don't think we can make it. I think we actually retreat in back back out of the castle and try and find more forces. So that's what he's gonna do. So he's gonna move. He's gonna move six. Oh shoot! I think he has a spell. I think he's got another spell. Is yep, it expeditious we, we of the sure, retreat? No, we sure do, though. So he can move 80. Yeah, so I think that's what he's going to do. He's just going to retreat, and that will probably end he combat. Moves, it moves 80? Yeah, he can move 80. Move 80. Double, double move, 10 extra feet each one. Double That's move 40 takes feet, a, then 40 feet. Double, whoa, 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 time, double move takes an action, correct? Yeah, I don't think he's going to do that then. No. I think so does gonna... the cast of the spell. Yeah, we're not doing so long strider. So he doesn't get two actions. Yeah, we're not doing, we're not doing long strider. We, have, we, have, we still have the Sorry. other one. We still have Misty Step. We're going to use Misty Step. Misty Step OP. So that gives us a total of 90 to play with. I'm, I'm picturing in, in Princess Bride, Count Rugen, you know, with his sword out like this, and it's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, looks at all of you, and it's just like, bye. And then just like, he's he's going to, uh, he's just going to run. Um, which, that scene by the, that whole movie is fantastic. I love that movie. Alright, so we're 30, and 60. All right. Uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna ninety feet away, oh, all the way over here, and he's just gonna get out of here. And that's what he does. That's what we do on his turn. All right. Are you going to try to? Is everyone gonna try and pursue him, or are you gonna try and take the momentary break in the action to get where you need to be? Uh, yeah, I think we have a uh, we have bigger fish to fry. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> the most important thing is how is the dragon? Is the little dragon okay? What are we trying to accomplish this mission? The mission we're trying to do is we have a we have a black uh, half dragon named Resmir who has been orchestrating some a huge amount of raids across the Sword Coast, and uh, they have been hoarding all of this treasure that they're trying to do this. So, uh, yeah. So, also uh, if you if you want a cool if you want a couple of of cool live streams, you should check out uh, both Roto and Jenna Jeff Uffles. Uh, they both do some really cool content, and you should check them out. I'll throw the I'll throw the the, the thing since I see them chatting in chat about about other cool stuff. So there you go, uh, uh, publicity, ba bam. Um, so there we go. All right, so um, so all of you are going to make your way. This guy, uh, this guy over here, by the way, um, who's right here. Uh, he's still blind, and then he wanders and he falls into the lake and and has a and has a rough day, but he doesn't die. He just has a bad day and is wet. All right, so... Uh, you want to go home and rethink your life. Yeah, absolutely. 
So we're trying, we have bigger fish to fry. We're going to try and track down Resmir. Um, we knew she went this way, right? Yep, you, you figured out that she went this way, um, which I'm going to move everyone into this room, including, inclu oops, leave that alone, including Snapjaw. I'm going to move people up here. All right, so as you enter uh, this, um, as you enter this, this area, you notice that there are tracks that lead into this direction and then into this direction. And we're going to end pretty quick tonight um, because we're almost out of time. And uh, so we move into this area. You notice that there are, there's a pair of, there's a staircase that goes up. But at the base of that staircase, there is like half of a footprint. Mm. Secret door. Who wants to try and mess with it? Uh, this would be what investigation or would it be investigation? Uh, it will be uh, investigation. I have plus six. What do you guys got? Yeah, give give it a, give it a whirl. All right, I'm doing it in roll twenty because that's I'm fine. Tired yeah, just of... like slash. I, I'm so tired of. <laughs> oh, not quite working quite right. Oh, yeah. I did... well, I'm tired of rolling a ten. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh slash I put R. Put space between it. Oh, slash R instead yep. of R slash. Everything else slash is right. Everything else is perfect. Uh, e twenty. Yep. Plus six. Plus six. Bam. 24. 24. So this is definitely, there's no traps or anything like that. You're able to just very easily kind of like lift on the staircase and the staircase goes up and it leads to a subterranean, uh, a subterranean tunnel that goes down into the, uh, the earth where sure you're find you're sure to find something else. Uh, and you're, you're, you can see by the, the footprints and the fact that there is torchlight in the next room that you are definitely hot on the trail of uh, both Asbar, Asbara Jos, who is a Red Wizard of Thay, and uh, Resmir. Um, so, I think that is a great place for us to go ahead and end for tonight. Um, yay. yay! And welcome back, Pip. It was great having you back uh, in the group. <laughs> <laughs> uh, glad glad to be back. I, I probably can play next week. Uh, we'll see. Excellent. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll, we will hope that you are able to make it. Uh, so, yeah. thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, if you like the content that we do here at Open Heart Games, you can help us out in several different ways. Uh, one of them is that we... Uh, we One of the big things that we like to do is we like to collect money for Extra Life. Our Extra, Extra Life Hospital is Rona Karelian Children's. You can, right up here, there is a link. You can go to this link right here. Uh, and you can donate there. We are trying to raise uh, $4,061 uh, to beat our goal, uh, which was our uh, goal for last year. Uh, you can also uh, subscribe here on our Twitch channel. You can follow us on Twitch. You can follow us on Instagram. We are also on YouTube and on Facebook as well. We also have a really cool event coming up this weekend. It's going to be May 15th at 1 o'clock from 1 to 2. We're going to be meeting with uh, veteran game master and game designer, Matt Summers, uh, to talk about his RPG and the journey that he went on to create uh, Desolation, a post-apocalyptic fantasy RPG. Very will that be recorded? Demo. It will be recorded. We'll get it up on our YouTube as quickly as we can. Great. All right. Excellent. Yep. And we will be getting... Uh, I had actually had a question on Facebook about this. We will be getting our, um, our episodes uh, back up in sync just as soon as we can. Uh, there is going to be a slight delay uh, because reasons. Um... So with that, thank you all so much for watching uh, and take heart.